What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Molly. Um, today's video, I'm actually really excited to show you guys um, what I'm going to be reviewing today. And let me give you guys a little bit of back information about me. Uh, so let's see. Where do I begin? So about five years ago, I wanna say I was like 18 years old, somewhere around there. Um, I started having some really bad discomfort in my digestive system. So um, every time I was eating or drinking, my stomach would always feel really uncomfortable, um, which you know resulted in me going to a bunch of different doctors, a bunch of different hospitals. Um, I had to undergo a few different surgeries and all the results came back negative. They always said everything was fine, everything looked okay, and it was really, really frustrating. Um, I was bloating, I was, my stomach was in pain, and you know, I was tired all the time, and just having no answers was really frustrating. I knew that that was not healthy, that that was not fine, you know? Um, not someone at 24 who's healthy as the doctors consider shouldn't be feeling this way when they're consuming food so um, I went to the allergen doctor and I did all the allergen tests like on my arms testing out like food and peanuts and different kind of dairy and grains and all these different kinds of things and everything came back fine so again really frustrating when you Obviously, I don't want to be allergic to something, but I was kind of looking for answers to kind of, you know, explain why I was feeling the way I was feeling. So, during the quarantine, I wanted to test this experiment. I have been seeing this all over commercials, all over my Facebook, and I was really excited to try this product. And I thought this would be a great video for you guys because if you are on the same boat and you, you know, you have all these food sensitivities that you don't know about and you just really want to learn your body, um, this is a great product that I am super excited to show you guys. It is the Everly Well Food Sensitivity Test. So the container looks like this. I got this little box in the mail. Um, this was $110, $110, $113 from their website, um, and it can test 96 reactive foods in the body. So basically what you do is you take the test at home, you send it in the mail, and then you register everything online and all your results come in online. So the reason why I'm super excited about this is that when I was going to the allergen doctor, they said, you know, you could have sensitivities. The, what we have here can't pick that up. So we can see what you're allergic to, but we can't see what is causing the discomfort. So I was really, really excited for this product and I'm really hoping, you know, to find out some answers about my body. Um, so yeah, why don't we just jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys the registration process, you know, obviously the fingerprints and sending it out and um, showing you guys my results so you guys can, if you guys are interested in doing this when you are home, I highly, highly recommend this. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys up close what the back of the box looks like. So it says it can test 96 different foods. So I'm not gonna read these, but as you guys can see, you know, obviously there's a lot of stuff kind of going on on the back of this box. And there's a lot of different foods that your body can react to. So I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna show you guys right now how I'm registering for this allergen test. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I went to www everlywell.com slash register and this is the home page of what it looks like when you are registering your kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create an account. This is like I said my first time using this so you guys are kind of getting the inside scoop on this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go type in my information and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step. Okay so the next thing it's gonna have me do is it says let's register your Everly Well kit. Please enter the unique kit ID located on the registration slip inside of your kit. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm not going to show you guys my code, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So let's see. When you open up the kit, this is the unique kit ID that I'm going to be typing in on the website. Okay, so from there, it's basically just trying to get all of my information, my birthday, my address, um, where I live, and it wants to know if I am a male or female. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go check off all these boxes. Then I'm also going to read the terms and conditions and I'm going to click next. Okay, and on the next screen it says, Molly will take this test or this test is not for Molly. Um, this is for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on that. So now from here it says that my kit is registered. And it kind of just shows you guys like how to collect the blood. So it shows you guys like a one minute video on what to do on the next step. I also wanted to know, which is I think really great customer service, is that they text you um, when your kit is successfully registered and they also track, I can track my kit on my phone too, which is great once I've shipped it. So again, I really like um, having that text option because it's really great to kind of stay in the loop with the tracking, especially everything that's going on with the coronavirus. I find that this is really important for all my packages, especially this one. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at as soon as I take the cover off. Um, this is one and two, and then when you flip up number one, it has the band-aids, the gauze, and the finger pricks. And then number two just has some of the, like, what I'm going to fill out right here. I'm going to show you guys this too. And the bag that I'm going to send it out in. And then when I lift it, this is the shipment that I'm going to be sending out. So everything is really nicely packaged. I'll definitely give them the credit on that one. You know, they filled the entire box. It's small, but it definitely gets to the point. So a plus on the packaging, everything looks really nice and clean. So I'm really excited to use this and try it. Okay, so now that I have everything laid out in front of me, I am currently watching the video on what to do. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys all that as well. The first thing it says to do is to drink a glass of water, which I'm already doing. Um, and then I'm gonna go wash my hands and do 10 jumping jacks, cause it says to get your heart rate going. Okay, so now that my hands are washed, I have the gauze right here. It says after you prick your first finger prick, you're gonna um, use the gauze to clean it up. And then you're gonna go ahead and put your blood samples on these circles. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick to do. I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit of blood i to just zoom in on that for you guys. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these blood samples on the circle. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Obviously, I got a little bit of blood over here. It's gross. Um, and then it just says to let the blood dry. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in this little lab bag that they give you. And I'm gonna show you guys the next step on shipping it out. Um, and yeah, we'll wait for our results. I'm super excited. This is super, super easy. Okay, so now that the blood is dry, it tells you to put it in this plastic like hazard baggie. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in the box that they give you. So they do a really good job too of making sure that you have everything that you need and you don't really need to go anywhere else to ship it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. And then they also give you this bag. So I'm gonna put this into the bag. And then they also give you the return label to stick on top. Okay, so this is what my package looks like. It is all ready to go, ready to ship out. I'm gonna go and throw this in the mailbox. Today is April 
t 8th it's a tuesday um so i'm gonna come back to you guys with the date to see how long it took them to get it and then we're gonna go over my reviews so we'll talk soon okay so it is currently the 29th so when I began the video, it was about 5 o'clock at night, so the mailman wasn't coming until the next day. So technically they got, the mailman got it this morning on the 29th, and I just got a um, text notification saying that it's expected to deliver by Saturday, May 2nd. So we will see when that day comes if the results come in. What's up you guys? Welcome back. So I am here to follow up with the results from my Everlywell test. So it is May 22nd and I just got the email saying that my results are ready. So I'm really excited, I'm really nervous, but I'm excited that it finally came in. Let me give you guys a little bit of uh, background about what has happened since I first recorded. Um, Basically, it took about two weeks for them to, two, two and a half weeks for them to get my blood. And then they told me that I didn't do enough on the sample, so they had to resend the um, thing I showed you guys, and I had to redo that, re-register, so it was super annoying. So if you guys are interested in doing this test, make sure you have all of the circle filled with blood don't just leave certain spots empty they really want as much blood as they can get from you or they won't be able to test it so that's why it took almost um like a full month um for this to come in so it was super frustrating but at least i did this so you guys don't have to do this so like i said it's may 22nd so it took about a month and i finally got my results and i'm so excited to share this with you guys so stay tuned Okay, so when you click on my account, I basically just clicked on view results and the first screen says, Hi Molly, your food sensitivity test is complete. Your test showed reactivity above normal to 13 foods. So this number seems kind of high, especially since I've never had allergic reactions to food. Um, all the allergen doctors I've been to say that I'm fine. So the 13 number is a little... Um, alarming but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of look through the whole thing and I'm gonna go walk through with you guys um, basically it categorizes everything by high reactivity to moderate to low so luckily I only have high reactivity to one food um, which is not really that terrible except for the fact that it is egg whites so I find this to be really not surprising if that makes sense because I always find that when I ate eggs I had a stomach ache but I didn't really know I thought it was all in my head um, so this was really interesting um, and when I look at the number it's pretty high so I definitely think that this is something I'm going to try to cut out of my diet for a little bit see how my stomach feels see if my digestion is any better see if I'm still tired and see if, you know, overall I feel better. Um, especially because I eat eggs almost every single day. You know, I try to meal prep. I eat like hard boiled eggs. They're super healthy for you. But knowing that they're not sitting well in my stomach or um, my body doesn't have the best reaction to them makes me definitely want to kind of rethink that. Um, but the also scary thing is they also add hidden sources. So this is where you would find egg whites in. So this is a long list um, and it's definitely something that you need to look into. It's a kind of a lifestyle change for a little bit to see if cutting these things out will make you feel better. So it's things like mayonnaise and um, cookies and salad dressings and things that you know you have for your everyday life but it definitely kind of makes you put things into perspective a little bit more so we're going to continue on and foods with moderate reactivity so just above the moderate line so the fact that we is at 62 Basically, I don't have like celiac or anything like that, but it does really upset my stomach and basically it just talks to you guys about like the things that are in wheat. So beer, like soy sauces, baking mixes, cereals, 
Um, I definitely knew this too, especially when I drink beers, I have really upset stomachs. Um, and certain foods really upset my stomach too. So this was something I kind of had a feeling was going to come up. Um, but again, it's pretty moderate. Um, and then it basically just talks to you guys about foods with mild reactivities. So they create a smaller immune reaction, but they can also cause some stomach discomfort. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But basically it's, so egg yolks is in there, random things like garlic, um, lobster is super weird, but I actually had a feeling this was going to come up because I always have a stomach ache when I eat lobster, um, like yogurt, rye, um, bell peppers. So this is super interesting, I feel like, to know and to be aware of. Um, and then it just talks to you about the foods that my stomach is normal. So it's 83, so that's a great ratio. Um, and the great thing is, is they talk about to decide what's next. So they talk about considering planning an elimination diet, kind of just taking away some foods and seeing how your body reacts to it. Um, and talks to you guys about all the steps and how you should do that. Um, so I think it's really, really cool and definitely interesting to see what you've been feeling as a blood result. I feel like that is super interesting. Okay, so as you guys saw, I just kind of walked you through my results. I think that this test is super interesting. I think I've been to so many doctors, I've been to so many allergen tests, and no one's really given me any answers for having an upset stomach, for having that like discomfort, for feeling tired, for feeling like I'm still eating healthy, why are the things I'm eating not agreeing with my stomach? So this test was super, super knowledgeable and I think, you know, for, for someone like me who's just kind of been through everything with going into doctors and stuff like that and I never got results and this test was $100 and kind of answered a lot of questions for me. Um, obviously I'm not going to cut things out dramatically. I am going to cut out eggs. I'm going to try to slowly become a vegan. It's kind of been something I've been working on in my head. Um, but all I can tell you guys is that if you guys have any kind of upset stomach, if you guys feel like you're just off, you're not feeling normal, you're not feeling healthy, you're feeling very sluggish, tired, um, you're working out all this and you're just not losing weight that you want to, this could really help you. Um, if you guys are interested, I do have a link for you guys in my bio. This again is not affiliated with me making any kind of money, but I do have a link for you guys. If you guys wanted to check out this Everly Well test, I highly encourage almost everyone kind of just know your body and know what is feeling good for you and really listening to that too. Um, so I do have a link in my bio if you guys do want to try this test. I 100% recommend you do this. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments or message me on Instagram and we can kind of go from there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.